So if you just watched the channel recently, I reviewed something Sandmark sent over uh, for iPhone, Google Pixel, smartphone, uh, whatever lens or camera you're doing. They have these hybrid pro filters that they made that are neutral density and polarization. So you get a lot of effective you know, use out of them if you wanna cut down light, use faster shutter speeds, slower shutter speeds, whatever you're trying to do during you know, bright sunlight and to cut down reflections with that polarization. But they also recently came out with something for your actual DSLR mirrorless lenses, the hybrid pro filters from Sandmark. And once again, as I always say, and up front, Sandmark did send these over for review, but they did not pay or compensate me in any way. They just said, hey, we got these new things, check them out and let us know what you think. So I'm letting them and you know what I think. So they've got a couple different options for mounts and different uh, filter sizes, because obviously they are filters that you put on the front of your lens right here. Currently on my X-Pro2, I'm using the Fuji 10 to 24 F4, which has a 72 millimeter mount, but I had them uh, send over an 82 millimeter mount and I stepped it down because they don't have a 72 millimeter available. But step down, step up rings, they're very common in filters and stuff in photography. A lot of landscape artists use that, uh, and similar brackets and everything. So if you need to step it up or step it down, don't worry, plus it's a piece of plastic that's pretty affordable to use anyway. But They've got different sizes, and with the different sizes, you range a little bit from the prices. You, you started about $170 and got to 200. Obviously, the 200 is more for the, the larger one, the 82 millimeter, but that is very, very competitively priced compared to what's out there from other brands and companies, uh, even stuff that I've covered on the channel as well. But like I said, they've got a couple different sizes. They got 58 millimeters, 67, 77, and 82. A lot of your pro lenses, bigger lenses, you'll find the 72 or 82 lens uh, millimeters uh, filter thread. So take what you need, get a step up or step down ring, but $170, $200 is actually competitively priced in the industry. Another thing you wanna look at, especially when you get ND filters, is the color cast. So they cast more of a green hue. They have, you know, you can remove it in post and all that kind of stuff or turn things to black and white. But if you're using for video or for photography, you really don't wanna worry about that and high quality lenses will not have a weird color cast. It just depends on how much the ND is stopped down. Now, the cool thing about this is the color, absolutely great, it's great. No green hue, no BS, it's good, it is pro for a reason uh, and it is a perfect hybrid that they used you know, on their filters. And with these new filters, you do get a set of three for that $170, $200 price mark right here. And they give you three different uh, intensities and things to go along with it. You start with like an ND16, which is currently uh, what I was using on here because it really wasn't too bright when I was doing a lot of tests. We're more towards the winter. The sun isn't super, super bright, but I was able to find a day or two to do that. An ND32 and an ND64. So in prospect, going from lowest to highest and about four, five, and six stops of light being blocked out, you could get ND1000, which is 10 stops. So think of that in a scale, but blocking out even five or six stops of light really is you know, challenging. But the cool part about this one as well, even though whenever you use filters, it's always recommended to manual focus, um, but anything under I'd say six stops, eight stops um, can retain autofocus. And this actually did do a good job autofocusing with the, uh, the filters on. So that's key, that's good. And the filters are actually made of aluminum, so they are extremely high quality. Uh, you do find a lot of more plasticky, cheaper builds out there, but if you have a very, very good build, it's something that you can trust. And especially for polarization, when you spin it, um, you wanna be able to not break it. So to have a great build on a filter, super important, super key. And like I was saying, I trust these in the environment. Um, I used to do, and I still like to do every once in a while, uh, long exposures during the day, and this can easily get you there. Just once again, depends on the intensity and how many stops of light you want to block out. But these hybrid pro filters from Sandmark do that very well. I trust them. I'm not just saying that to say that. I've talked about filters on here before. I've talked about you know adapters and everything that have broken cameras. So if I have a problem with something, I will say it. But I've had no problems with these. The only problem I've had is just outside and having sunlight, and mostly no sunlight because of the time of the year. But if you really need a good set um, that are under $300, $400, or depending on what you're looking at and how many stops you want to block out, you should check out the Sandmark filters right here. It's their hybrid pro for your DSLR and mirrorless lenses. And as for the polarization aspect, which 
is why this is a hybrid uh, with the ambient polarization built in. I just did a silly example from my uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee and just cutting out all the ambient light and reflection and stuff. So you'll see even mostly in the windows, there's like a, a tree or whatever the sky was and you saw just the reflection just cut down and shift. And think of that more on extreme scale on buildings and windows or whatever you're trying to shoot, uh, water and everything. That's the whole point of polarization and why um, people use that. And even street photographers is because you do get a little bit more control. But like I said, if you want something extreme, you could cut you could cut down on reflections and get your long exposures, fast shutters for video or whatever you need um, using these types of filters. There's not much more to say after that. It's very, very affordable, great build, and something I recommend. San Marcos make great stuff. So if you pick up something for these, maybe you want something for your smartphone, and I'll leave a review down to that to those below as well. And check out the description for a link to check these out on their site as well. Anything on their site, it's not an affiliate link, it's just me sharing. So that way you uh, guys and girls can pick up something if you really want it. But these are definitely worth looking into. They compare very well to what's out there and even more affordably priced too compared to another competitor uh, that is around the same thing. So check out Sandmark's hybrid pro filters.